Now, some of you may be asking yourselves, Rain, why are you uploading the same video that you uploaded a few days ago? Well, a little Jimmy. Let me take a moment to explain that. So there are a couple reasons. One, because my dumbass screwed up and was using the wrong link in that video visually, so that's going to confuse a lot of people. And the other reason is because I had the annoying background noise of people in content, you know, the NPCs, the background noise of people chattering, which sounds like nothing. It's exactly what you would hear if you were in, like, let's say, your, um, school's lunchroom. You can't make heads or tails of what anyone is saying. But anyway, I felt like that was way too loud, so a lot of the time, I'm probably not going to be heard very well. So I'm just going to take a quick moment to actually go over the proper link this time, and go over the pro process of implementing the Super Saiyan 3 hair. It's really, really easy to do. One moment. Okay, that is the wrong link. There we go. Now, I've already corrected the link in the previous video. But I'm going to go ahead and go over the process here because you do have to do a very small amount of digging to get to the serializer. So, going to my monitor briefly here. Once you download this, and I'm just going to see if it's already in my downloads. Hang on. Okay, it is. So, when you download this, don't worry about the happy suicidal noises thing, by the way. That's just a Warhammer meme. I don't have problems. Don't worry. But anyway, you go into that pack here. You're going to want the serializer. Once you download that, you go into here. This is what you're going to need. Drag both of these. You're going to need them both. But this is the main one you are going to be using. I think you're going to need both anyway. But anyway, once you have that, and hang on, I just got to take care of something I neglected to do last night. Okay, so once you have your save file copy in here, for example, you're going to take this and you need to drag that in here. This is going to happen. Once that happens, it's going to spit this out. You right click this, you go to open with, notepad, control F, put it in here, go to next. So let's say for example, I'm on rain, right? This only works on Saiyans and Earthlings, by the way. Rain is a Saiyan, so this will work. You need to come down here. This is the hair ID for Super Saiyan 3. Note, if you change equipment or skills, your hair will revo revert back to a default unless you're using an engine by running this game in um, the bin folder where you right-click and run as admin and you have a table that will make the hair stay as is when you're trying to put other stuff on. So in other words, if you're going to want to like have the hair on, make sure you have all your presets done ahead of time. That way, if you're not changing anything, you won't lose the hair. And cool thing about the recent update, other people in content on PC will see you now in this hair. So recently I've been posting a couple of videos on Violet, that's Rain's mom. She has it as well, of course. That would be her dad, Usugi, so he's got that as well. And her Uncle Crimson. They all have it, Two ninety nine. That's the ID you need. Once you change that ID in quotes, you would save it. I'm not going to, there's no point in me doing so. And then once you've done that, once you've saved it, you need to then take this file that you just got done editing, you drag that to the serializer, 
it overwrites this. Then you can take that. Then you need to go to your save file path. You would put that in here. And then once you boot up the game, your characters would have the Super Saiyan 3 hair on them by default. Again, make sure that you have all the presets you want done on them ahead of time. Now how you can easily do that is by using the save editor, which I will put a link to in the description as well. Both of these are by LazyBone. I use them frequently. They're great tools. This would be the save editor. So I have my save file copy here, right? On this drive's um, desktop. You go to presets. Make sure your presets are all the way you want them to be. Just showing Rain and her folks off one last time. Notice how I got all my presets the way I want them, so I don't have to change any equipment or skills. They're good. And you would want to do this before you do anything with the serializer, because you cannot change the hair ID for whatever reason in the editor here. Well, that's going to do for the video. The links to both the editor and the serializer will be in the description. Hope this helps some people out. And, uh, yeah, if I get any questions on this, I'm sorry. That's I, I don't know what to do if you still have issues beyond this point. Like, I really don't know what else to tell you. I, I made it as clear and simple and to the point as I possibly can. You may have something going wrong on your end. I... I wouldn't know what. This should work. Uh, and I'm on Windows 10, if that helps any. But that's enough from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.